Communication Center. Communications creates communion. Tunaona wazi kwa macho yetu. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. She is our mother. She was so pure and loving. That loving and pure heart was given to us at the foot of the cross. Let us ask her to intercede for us before the Lord. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to the Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that have greatly have sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The descendants of my people shall be known among the nations, and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them, that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. The Word of the Lord. First Samuel. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies. 
because I rejoice in your salvation. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble guard on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and rises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings law. He also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the dung heap to make them sit with the princess and inherit a seat of honor. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you O lord the parents of jesus went to jerusalem every year at the feast of the passover and when he was 12 years old they went up according to custom and when the feast was ended as they were returning the boy jesus stayed behind in jerusalem his parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a, day, a day's journey, and they sought him among the, their king's folk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, how is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. So my dear friends, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good and that is nature, wow. Today we celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We're talking about a heart and a heart is closely linked with love, with affection, with tenderness. Yes, this heart of Mary represents the perfect motherly love. It is a heart that was filled 
with joys and also with sorrow. It is a heart that loved Jesus the Son so, so much. As you've heard from the Gospel of Luke, that Mary realized that the Son was not in their company. And regardless of the journey they had already made back to Nazareth, she had to go back and look for him. This is the concern. This is the care. This is the love that Mary had for his son. And in the scriptures, in several occasions, we have had Jesus being in the company of his mother. And where we see this loving heart coming out strongly is in the passion of our Lord. Mary accompanied Jesus right from the beginning till the end of his life, till he breathed his last, his last breath. They met together, mother and son, and Mary was grieved seeing how his son was suffering because of us. And at the foot of the cross, Mary stood by his, her son. And before the son, Jesus Christ, died, he gave us his mother. He gave us that kind of woman who loves so, so much. The way Mary loved Jesus is the same the way Mary loves us. She cares for us. Invisibly, she accompanies us. Even in this difficult time of grief, of worry, of anxiety, of sickness, of being jobless, of hunger, Mary will never abandon us. Invisibly, she is with us. Whenever we are mourning, whenever we are grieving, she is also feeling it and praying for us. What can we do to Mary as appreciation, as an appreciation for her love for us? Let us devote ourselves to Mary. Let us pray the rosary. Let us try to be pure and clean in, of, in heart. Let us ask Mary our mother, to pray for us and especially to those who are sick, those who are suffering, the suffering that she experienced by seeing her son undergoing all that kind of unfair treatment until they killed him. Let us ask her who she knows very well what suffering is to pray for those who are going through this kind of experiences today. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise and bless and glorify your name on this uh, memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. By the one, by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived our, your only begotten Son, and without losing her glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we when we eat this, this body bread, and drink this cup, we oh, proclaim your death, O Lord, oh Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Archbishop uh, Martin Kivuva and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name, name your Lord kingdom Lord come, Lord your will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, the faith of your church. And graciously grant your people peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mysteries of our redemption, the mystery of our redemption. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. would like to appreciate first St. Francis of Assisi Customs Nyali Parish for giving us space to celebrate this Eucharist. Again, we'd like to thank the Capuchin TV for transmitting this uh, service live. Again, I'd like to thank Luanga Communication Team for their tireless efforts in transmitting 
uh, this uh, Eucharist celebration. And again, we also like to appeal for donations through M-Pesa, Paybill, and uh, Standing Bank, as shown on your screen. God bless. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and protect you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Since the cessation of movement in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus, many people have suffered financially, spiritually, psychologically, and even emotionally. The Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa has put in place a dedicated team of professional counselors to support those who may need psychosocial support. Kaidre, contact us on this number in case you need help. Zero, one, one zero zero nine seven three two seven zero one one zero zero nine seven three two eight Safaricom for Airtel zero seven eight two eight four seven seven six six zero seven eight two Eight three eight 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 nine. Call us for any help, we will assist. From Luanga Communications Center, Communications creates communion. Ni na tutuliza, malaika mengonewa 